Good morning, everybody. This is Scott with Believers Underground. I'm going to show you the dynamics of this post-glacial rebound effect, okay? Say this is the, the Arctic and the Antarctic, because they're both melting. Now, I'm going to put some ice in it. Now, if all you had was the ice staying up there, then it would be like an ice in a cup, okay? It wouldn't go anywhere. But that's not what's happening. You've had nine Californias where the ice leave the Arctic. You've had Greenland rebound two feet. You've got nation rise against nation up there now. As all that heavy weight is coming off. Now what's happening is, is you, you get this ice. It goes in the world's oceans. And it gets dispersed. Okay. It, it, it's going to the center of the equator now. The, the equator is 26 miles wider, and it's getting wider and wider and wider. That's why you're starting to see all these cracks and all these sinkholes, and this anomaly only gets worse from here. The sun is coming down, it's hitting the oceans, and it's absorbing the heat. Now, what's going to continue on now is you get this cold water going into these ocean currents. Okay, the Ross ice shelf's melting hand over fist now. Uh, it's losing 24 cubic miles a year off of that thing, confirmed through grace. All this stuff is, is confirmed. All right, and, and this stuff is so heavy, this ice, it's sinking the ocean floor. It's going into geofragile zones, and it's sinking the ocean floor. New Moore Island was the last island to be sunk. Okay, but now you've got these critters. Let's say a whale, and, and here's a fish. Now, you had all kinds of millions of dead fish come up over here in South America. This water gets into this current, and it's, it's moving and pushing into this next current, a warm current, and it's killing the fish's hand over fist. So you're going to see more and more dead fishes, which is going to impact your food market big time. You're seeing more and more whales coming up dead up here in the, over here in the UK and and it, this whole water current is messed up and circulating around it's like a one big uh, blender system you know and, and the sea lions and stuff uh, man you're gonna have all kinds of critters coming up dead over here and the erosion that's coming off this stuff now with this ice okay I'm gonna show you this ice Okay, ice, it freezes at 32 degrees. Salt water freezes at 28. So you're getting mass evaporations of water uh, going up and sending floods like Pakistan, uh, uh, just everywhere. Okay, now as this thing messes up the ocean currents, it's called your El Nino and El Nina. And I'll move that aside, your El Nino and El Nina. It's coming down and impacting the the uh, South Pole now, on the the West End. You just had Mount Etna blow up uh, down here in the South Pole, and it's all islands over here. All these islands are going to sink, folks. This heavy weight's going to push down in these trenches as this Earth is widening. Okay, and not only in the oceans but on land as well. It's widening. You got a grip of quakes coming through here. It all. Everywhere from the, the Haiti and those areas, uh, going into Guatemala, Puerto Rico, uh, all those areas, Panama Canal, they're, they're toast. Uh, these areas right here where the Africa splits and comes through over here. Okay, these, right now you've had a whole bunch of quakes hit Etna or uh, Yemen, and, and you've had three volcanoes go off through here. If the volcano over here goes, it can take out the whole west coast because it, it's it's it, it'll send a tidal wave this direction a half mile wide and it'll just keep on going uh... same thing with the ross ice shelf if a big chunk breaks off of that you're talking two mile high ice it, and it could just go right on through here and go globally and take out your coastal cities that's why i tell people move at least two hundred miles away from the coast now as this ocean floor is sinking it's causing a magma push, which means volcanoes. Okay, here's my little volcano and the magma underneath it. The, you know, I told you in my other videos um, a year ago that 
Indonesia was toast. Uh, and another thing that this is causing, as the ocean floor is sinking, it, it's a magma push. It, it's pushing the magma to the point of least resistance. You got all three calderas here in the United States have gone hot. You got the one in Australia and New Zealand, and, and one of their volcanoes went up. Well, I'm going to show you another anomaly to this thing, okay? Say this is a green field. Now, here's dead, and here's alive. These, this soil is starting to become acidic. Uh, the farmers over there in Michigan, because I've, I've been through a lot of states in the United States over this last month, and, and the soils are coming acidic. I've seen it in the forest. Trees just dropping dead. Okay, that, the, the acid in the soil is so high that it, it can't support the life, so they're dying. All right, so they're going to have, they're throwing this peat moss or uh, potassium stuff on the fields just for the crops so that, so they can continue to live on. And, and there's your green. Okay, this also causes another thing. You take a lead weight off a tire, say, say the lead weight's right here, and you move that lead weight somewhere else on that tire, it starts to wobble. Well, the earth is in orbital wobble now, okay? And that's affecting the magnetic field. Now, when the magnetic field is disrupted, what happens is out there in space, the, the, the arms of the magnetic field slap over each other and cause a space quake, and it's shrinking the moon. And these are all facts out of NASA. AP said the moon was shrinking last month. Okay. It also will cause another anomaly. You get a lot of near-Earth objects. Okay, I got my little uh, asteroid rock here. And, and here's saying this is the Earth. Okay. You get a space quake, and it hits one of these near-Earth near objects. It can literally send it and redirect it down to Earth. Or it can explode it, and it'll be like stars raining down from heaven. Okay? So you got a lot of things going on right now with this anomaly. Now I'm going to talk more about post-glacial rebound effect and all its dynamics. Because you're also getting the pH levels changing in the ocean. You're getting the oxygen sucked out of the ocean in the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Oceans. I got the reports on that. All the stuff I'm telling you is fact, fact, fact. Don't let them smoke and mirror you with these little uh, wars and rumors of wars, okay, because those things will happen. But the World Bank already has all these countries tied up in trade agreements. It's a sideshow for the greater greed to keep your attention off what's really going on. Now, I said that volcanoes would increase two to 400%. When I first came onto YouTube, something like 16 months ago, and they're already up 320%. I told you these earthquakes are going to get bigger and more, and they have. We passed, uh, surpassed the numbers this year already for the most quakes in a year's history. And all this stuff is happening because of the ice. That is your white horse, and she's going out conquering and to conquer big time. And, and as she does, she's setting off this domino effect, okay? That's why they're spraying that $5 trillion geoengineering project, the shield of raw, or radioactive forcing of aerosols, and there's other hands in that pie, too. But they cannot stop, the, which, which what it does is it reflects the, the sun back out in space. They can't stop this effect. The moon, it's going to get pushed away eventually, and, and you'll lose a third of the day and a third of the night, and it'll come back in line, but it, it's like a woman in Treville, okay, she's in labor pains. The tops pop up with post-glacial rebound because they're rebounding, the sides are widening, so you go, doom, 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 and it's getting faster and faster and faster. Now, this is going to set off not only a volcanic age, but an ice age as well, and I'll talk more about that. Now, I'm, I'm looking for sponsors for my radio show on the Intel Hub. It, they made my day, hopefully permanently this time, uh, Mondays at 5 to 7 uh, West Coast time. Uh, so come on by, listen to the shows. I, I, I talk about all this stuff and more. 
and how these big money players are, are manipulating everything for the greater greed. Uh, so, but I can get sponsors. Uh, now, I just love you very much. Information shock resistance. I'm doing as much as I can with with what I got. Uh, if you want to send a couple bucks, you could send it over to my P.O. Box, uh, Scott Owen, uh, P.O. Box 657, Goshen, California, 93227. Or you can money grab me something, where, whatever state I'm in. And you'll have to do it under Scott C. Owen. Uh, I love you very much. This stuff is very serious. Okay? All these islands need to be evacuated. All these areas around the equator, uh, they, they need to be evacuated as well. This is loading and unloading a weight. This will save lives and save your own life at the same time. Will, will they do it? Uh, I don't know. But, man, let's walk in love, folks, man. Let's start caring. And these, these Palladian fellows, these UFOs, dudes, man, they're all up in bed with the World Bank, man. They were showing up in, in Switzerland all this time. And if they really gave a crap, they I mean, just using common sense, they, they would have nipped this in the bud 50 years ago. They wouldn't be starting to intercede right now. It's a lie. It's a lie. And it's in the book of Job. It's, it, in the later chapters, it's in the book of Jude on who those people are. Oh, yeah, love, love, love. Man, God gets the glory. He always has. He ain't going to give it to no other. All right? Now, the reason why all this ice packs on both poles are melting is because of this. Okay? Nuclear fallout. Nuclear fallout is a heavy metal. It's uranium. It's mined. It's a metal. And when you blow up 240-some-odd nuclear tests, you have major accidents like Chernobyl, which blew a hole in your ozone. There was 3.5 million pounds of four facilities, and Chernobyl means wormwood. Okay, hello. It's like a red flag from 2,000 years ago from the Word of God. Uh, it blew a hole in your ozone, and it spread this radioactive graphite globally. There's three layers of the stuff in your ice cores. Your ice is sitting in a heavy metal dome. Now, there's a lot of dynamics to this thing, and I've been talking about it for the last 16 months here on YouTube under the Believer's Underground. <sighs> you know, I just love you guys. Be well, stay safe. My children die from lack of knowledge. Okay, I'm just fast tracking you. This is the white horse. It's going to set off the black horse because the money took off. Right, in 1986, 87, the money ran when the the glaciers started to melt. They knew about this Rothschild in '92 at the Unset Summit. It's point blank said this that uh, these glaciers are going to keep rolling. They're they're, they're not going to stop. I will put links under here to all my prediction videos. Well, not all of them, but some of them. Uh, they have information under the sidebars. You know, just click the thing and read the information for yourself. Uh, man, you know, and how about the underground is uh, what if, whatever you got, man. Prayers, uh, passing this knowledge on to others so they, they can move or get into safer locations. According to the 2030 report, everything under the 40th parallel now is second world. I love you very much.